Good morning, dolls, and welcome to Little Gretchen's Workshop. So today is part two of adding the details to the Roman House Dining Room China Cabinet. So here we are, one by one, putting dishes on the shelves inside of the China Cabinet. Some of these items are the ones that I pre-selected in the part one video of preparing the details for the dining room. And I'm actually putting in the pieces that actually fit. There are quite a few pieces I actually wanted to use, but I did find out that they wouldn't work. Now, dolls, I'm using the tacky wax, but you can use any kind of wax adhesive to secure your items inside the china cabinet so that they don't shift and move when you finally stand the china cabinet up. Now, periodically, I close the, the doors just to see what the dishes look like with the doors closed. Now keep in mind, dolls, if you are styling a china cabinet or a cupboard that doesn't have doors and glass, what I'm doing really wouldn't be necessary. You could be able to see what you're doing as you do it. But because my doors are going to be closed and they have intricate designs on the glass, I periodically close it to check and see how the placement of my plates complements the overall look of the china cabinet and the feeling I'm trying to create. And also take note when I put some of the plates in, I don't put it all the way to the bottom of the shelf because I want you to see as much of it as possible even if I put something in front of it. And dolls, those are the types of liberties you can take with miniatures because you are creating an illusion. Now if you notice in this frame, the cup is kind of big and it covers a lot of the plate. So I raised the plate up a little bit so you'll be able to see more of the plate even with the cup sitting in front of it. Now dolls, I have mentioned to you before in other videos, I am a bit of an over waxer. So I do use quite a bit of wax on the backs of my items. Now if you feel comfortable using less, um, definitely uh, take the liberty to do that. But I always wax more because I don't want anything to shift or move or fall or clank. Now, some of you all may feel comfortable um, gluing your miniatures in or gluing your plates to the wall. I'm not a gluer, dolls, not for this type of thing, because I may change my mind or get another china set or just decide to redecorate at some point. So, dolls, I like to leave my things that they're accessible to play at any time. <laughs> the one thing I'm truly noticing in the process of looking at my china cabinet through the lens of the camera is that it's extremely dusty in between the designs of the glass. I'm definitely going to have to clean that off, dolls. It's totally hilarious to me how the camera exposes everything. So always be mindful of that, dolls. When you're taking photographs or videos of your miniatures or scenes, Definitely look at everything through the lens of the camera. And here I am, you see me just choosing pieces one by one that actually fit on the shelf. And I'm checking the sizes of the pieces. It's funny how that creamer and the other creamer are such a different size. So even though sometimes you buy china sets that say they're 12 scale, but sometimes it's a little bit off, especially when it comes to the shelves. Now, dolls, although I wasn't able to use that big blue plate, I did have two saucers from that same collection, and they appear to be plates inside the china cabinet on the shelf. So I definitely use those next to that white plate from the other set. And just kind of arranged it to give it a little symmetry. And I also used the large sugar and creamer set. They look huge. The creamer actually looks like a picture inside my china cabinet and the teapot won't fit on the top shelf at all so I chose to put it on the bottom shelf. So again dolls you just have to play with it to see what works. Don't become frustrated you know if you don't use your items in one um, piece of furniture you'll be able to use it somewhere else. You could even hang the plates on the wall. That was a very common decoration during certain times in history. So never feel frustrated when you can't use your items the way you originally imagined. They'll always work for something else. Now, dolls, you'll be able to notice as I put my pieces in, you are able to see some of my wax. 
And the thing is, after I get my pieces placed the way I want it, I can go under it with one of my clay tools or even a toothpick to remove any of the excess wax that's still showing. Now I'm going to kind of zoom things in here a little bit, just so you can see a little bit closer at what I'm doing. And dolls, you can see here, I'm just working piece by piece, one by one, putting each piece in. I actually could have put the teacup on top of the saucer, but I struggled with it a little while and did it individually. Now this is a little vase that really had nothing to do with any of the tea sets, but I thought it would look nice in front of that white plate. And I just tried it. I wasn't sure whether it would work or not. And after I got it secured with the wax, I really liked the way it looked in front of the plate with the gold on it. So I gave it a little bit of variation. So again, dolls, you just have to play with it to see what really works. There's no right or wrong way for setting up your china cabinet or any of your cabinets. It's all a matter of personal taste. But I'm just showing you here what I did and how I came up with the combinations that I did. I have a tendency to like things to look eclectic. I don't like things to be too matchy-matchy. So you can see here that is exactly the case. I do have some other dishes that I could have added, but I'm saving them for another part of the project. Remember, we still have the whole cafe to do. Plus, I had to save dishes to set up for Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> now, dolls, this little vase belonged to my great-grandmother, Margaret. She had a teeny china tea set inside the china cabinet my entire childhood. She never allowed me to play with it. And when she passed, my grandmother gave it to me. So I thought this was the perfect place to put it. Safe and sound inside another china cabinet. <laughs> I've got a few more pieces I'm just trying to add in here because I want it to look full. I don't want it to look sparse and uh, staged. I want it to look like somebody at random put things in here and I am using a clay tool to adjust a couple of my pieces and here I am cleaning the windows a little because it definitely has gotten dusty I think I may need a couple q-tips so I closed the doors to see how things looked and I felt like I needed one more item dolls and I had a couple really small wine glasses they're more like champagne glasses I actually over wax, so I have to clean that up. But there it is, a little champagne glass in front of that plate. I think that looks a little bit better. So now I've got my Q-tips and I dipped it into a little bit of Windex and just trying to get in between those little pieces of wood, the designs in my china cabinet windows. And I'm just being really gentle to just kind of twirl out some of the dust and be advised, dolls, this is edited video, so it did take me a lot longer to do than what it shows here. Now there's my china cabinet, all filled and set up. I've cleaned it up. I've cleaned the windows, and it's just sitting here on my workstation. I'm just admiring my work. I'm really excited about how it's going to look in the house. I just want to zoom you in a little bit so you can see it a little bit closer, how everything looks. Now that looks like a real china cabinet from this distance. If you couldn't see my work table in the background. <laughs> so let me just pan you back over so all you see is the china cabinet. Yeah, that looks good and looks really real. I really like the way I arrange things. I think it looks very authentic. So yeah, let's go ahead and try it inside the house. So here I am, dolls, back in the rooming house dining room. And I'm playing around with all the pictures that I selected to be in this room. Now, I really like this picture, but I really don't like the way it feels above the buffet. I really believe that I'm going to go ahead and use my mom, my aunt, and my uncle over the buffet. I think that looks a lot more rooming house-like. I had chosen a big ornate mirror, and I think it looks a little bit too fancy and flashy for this setting. So I'll save it for something else. So I decided to try out that other floral picture next to the china cabinet and it just seems awkward i think it'll work better on this plain wall next to the door so dolls when it comes to art and hanging your pictures and using your wall decor you just have to play around and see what works see what is visually pleasing to your eye now even though i started with this picture on the wall next to the china cabinet again i decided to move it I like the way the one picture looked, but for some reason I just wasn't satisfied. 
and I tried the pink picture on the other side, and that wasn't right either. I was definitely convinced that the picture of my mom, my aunt, and my uncle would look perfect over the buffet, so I went ahead and placed it there, and that guided me on what I wanted to do with the rest of the room. So sometime dolls, go ahead and confirm your decision on something that you know is right, that you know you like, and the rest will come to you as you go. It seemed like after I placed their picture above the buffet, it seemed like the arrangement of the other items was easy to see now. I really like the way the china cabinet turned out, and I'm really happy about the pictures as well. Now dolls, if you enjoyed this video, definitely let me know in the comments. Also like, share, and subscribe, and always look for me on Mondays and Wednesdays after 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Dolls, I really appreciate all your love in the comments. I just want to take this opportunity to say thank you to all my subscribers, from those of you who've been with me from the beginning to those of you who've just subscribed today. And I also want to say thank you to those of you who haven't subscribed, but you're watching. So I appreciate you as well. Dolls, we have so much to do to prepare for Thanksgiving and Christmas, not to mention New Year's. <laughs> So dolls, let me get off of here and get busy. And I'm looking forward to seeing you on the next episode of Little Gretchen's Workshop. Bye-bye now, dolls.